the responsibility of failing to deliver must fall on Kenya Kwanzaa as the party in power. For any talks to succeed, those holding the reins of power must be willing and act in good faith. Our reading is that the Ruto regime lacked sincerity required to make the talks succeed and deliberately sabotaged the people's demands while pre presenting their own parliamentary agenda as demands. And therefore, we have an item in the NADCO report as constitutional amendments. The issue of the respect of political parties and a mouth party democracy, NADCO report proposes constitutional and legal amendments. We want to say to Kenya, the constitution and political party are, as they start, are fully adequate. They have no ambiguity. What we are having is failure to implement the constitution and the law because of the impunity by the Kenya Kwanzaa government. In any talks, the party that makes the talks succeed is the party in power. These talks because the Kenya Kwanzaa regime and Ruto himself have nothing but contempt for Kenyans, you fool around for eight months and you come with zero reports, zero results. So we are saying, let them adhere to the law. We are not interested in any amendments. We are interested in full and strict adherence to the law. On all the three demands, Azimio and the Kenya Kwanzaa regime, I will say the Kenya Kwanzaa, in all the three demands of Azimio, the Kenya Kwanzaa regime has failed to deliver. The responsibility of failing to deliver must fall on Kenya Kwanzaa as the party in power. For any talks to succeed, those holding the reins of power must be willing and act in good faith. Our reading is that the Ruto regime lacked sincerity required to make the talks succeed and deliberately sabotaged the people's demands while pre presenting their own parliamentary agenda as demands. And therefore, we have an item in the NADCO report as known as constitutional amendments. Kenya Kwanzaa expects Kenyans to participate in a referendum hungry and without basic needs. Any proposal to us that alters the structure of government, such as the office of the Prime Cabinet Secretary or Prime Minister, or leader of official opposition, must be subjected to a referendum at after full participation by Kenyans. Similarly, the issue of constituency development fund, which the courts have already declared unconstitutional, and ward fund, which offend the principle of separation of powers, must be subjected to a referendum. We shall be altering the structure of the constitution, the basic structure, if you like. Kenyans must be on the lookout. We know Ruto and the Kenya Kwanzaa regime are cunning, more cunning than a fox, I dare say. We must be on the lookout, otherwise they may carry out backdoor amendments of the constitution through parliament. While concluding on the NADCO report, we want to say it has nothing to alleviate the suffering of citizens, but it offers goodies to the leadership. This is totally unacceptable. It is a fraud upon Kenyans. It should be frowned upon and totally rejected. That is the verdict of NAC Kenya. It is a distracting national smoke screen. Yes. We are aware that some of our partners may see some good in it. 